The female reproductive system includes the vulva, or external genitalia, vagina, cervix, uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, and mammary glands. The external genital organs of the female collectively are called the vulva. They consist of the labia majora and labia minora, clitoris, opening of the urethra, and the opening of the vagina. The main functions involving the vulva are urination, sexual behavior, menstruation, and childbirth. The vagina is a muscular tube leading from outside of the body in towards the uterus. This is where semen from the male is deposited into the woman's body during sexual intercourse. The cervix joins with the vagina. Approximately half of the cervix is visible. The other half extends above the vagina beyond view. The uterus, also called the womb, is the major female reproductive organ. The uterus opens into the vagina via the cervix at one end and the fallopian tubes at the other end. Layers of smooth muscle, called myometrium, make up the structure of the uterus. The function of the uterus in reproduction is to accept a fertilized egg or ovum, which becomes implanted in the uterine lining or endometrium. The fallopian tubes connect the uterus to the ovaries where eggs or ova are produced. The ovaries also produce powerful hormones, principally estrogen and progesterone, which play an important role in the reproductive cycle, as we shall see. At birth, each ovary contains roughly 500,000 ovarian follicles, also called graphene follicles. These follicles are the immature form of the ovum. Beginning at puberty, the ovaries normally allow one ova to mature every 28 to 30 days. This process is called the menstrual cycle. In the first half of the menstrual cycle, levels of estrogen rise and make the lining of the uterus, the endometrium, grow and thicken. At about day 14, one follicle breaks open to release its egg cell in a process known as ovulation. Smooth muscle lining the fallopian tube transports the egg by peristaltic contractions to the uterus and progesterone levels rise and help prepare the uterine lining for pregnancy. This trip can take hours or days. If the egg becomes fertilized by a sperm cell and attaches itself to the uterine lining, the woman becomes pregnant. If the egg is not fertilized, it either dissolves or is absorbed into the body. If pregnancy does not occur, estrogen and progesterone levels drop and the thickened lining of the uterus is shed during the menstrual period. During sexual intercourse, about four milliliters of semen containing as many as 400 million sperm cells are deposited in the female's vagina. Most of these sperm will die within 48 hours. If fertilization takes place, the sperm usually meet the ovum in the fallopian tube, requiring the sperm cells to swim from the upper vagina through the cervix and across the length of the uterus before reaching the fallopian tube a considerable distance compared to the size of the sperm cell. Once the ovum fuses with a single sperm cell, its cell membrane changes, preventing fusion with other sperm. This process ultimately leads to the formation of a cell called a zygote, the union of an ova and a sperm. <laughs> 